hello students so i rekha singh once again with you from common residential and day school and we are moving forward with the same topic that is food we eat with class 4 in this chapter we have already learnt about energy giving food protective food and body building food so in the series of protective food we have already learnt about vitamins and in that we have learned vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c and vitamin d so we have discussed in vitamin d vitamin d is required for strong bones and teeth and we get this vitamin from milk yogurt cheese butter egg and cod liver oil we also get vitamin d from sun rays the morning sun rays and so do we get vitamin k from sun rays so we about vitamin k we learn more in your further classes so far vitamin k is also required for our bones and also helps to uh, clot the blood clotting means it makes when you get uh, you fall and you get uh, some wounds it sometimes start bleeding but after a few minutes it you found a blood clotted at that a uh, blood is collected and your bleeding stops so that is known as clotting and that clotting is being done with the help of vitamin k now we will move forward with minerals if we talk about minerals they are also very very important for our body because our bones are made up of calcium and we required iron iodine in the form of minerals for a proper growth so <clears throat> we get minerals from milk soya bean broccoli and many other leaf green leafy vegetables then iron we get from banana almond grapes beetroot spinach apricot as men many other then if we talk about iodine iodine we get from salt egg fish strawberries and many other now apart from water and minerals we also required roughage water and roughage collectively helps our body to remove the waste from our body it helps the digestive system and make the digestion process easier how it make is easier we just come to know about by this water is an important part of our diet everybody knows it we feel thirsty we can live without food for one or two days but we cannot live without water our 70% of body is made by water you lose water when you sweat or pass urine water removes out of our body through sweating and urine and uh, this water needs to be replaced then when something is removed then this again uh, another water wants to take its place for this we need to drink 6 to 8 glasses of water daily then our body will become 
fit and fine. We feel rejuvenated. Otherwise, you feel lethargic. Means lazy. This can be in the form of either water or other drinks. You can take juices also. But juices should be pure. Not these canned juices and packed juices. Try have fresh juice. Like you grind your uh, fruits in your mixi and have it. You also get some water from fruits and vegetables that you eat. You can directly eat the vegetable uh, or fruits to get water. If you cannot um, crush it in your mixi and it is making more time. So you directly have the food and can get water. So the part of our food which we cannot digest is called roughage. So the digested part becomes soupy and utilized by, uh, sucked by our intestine and mixed uh, this juice into our blood and through this it reached to all parts of our body but what about the waste part so this waste part fibrous part is known as roughage so it comes mainly from fruits and vegetables another your flour atta what we call it oats and pulses that provides us roughage. So this fibrous waste material comes out of our body when we use more of roughage in our diet. Then only it keeps our digestive system healthy. Then roughage is important because it helps in the formation of stool means everybody knows about stool uh, that is a waste material in the form of fiber that we everybody knows <coughs> now is balanced diet what is first of all diet the food we eat daily in the morning we take breakfast in the afternoon we take lunch and in the evening uh, night we take dinner so this is called our diet but if we talk about balanced diet what is balanced diet balanced diet in a very simple language if i would explain you balanced diet is a diet which contains all the nutrients into it is known as balanced diet and what is that nutrients in your diet there should be enough carbohydrates fats for energy enough protein for growth enough vitamins and minerals to make your body healthy enough water and roughage should be there or present in your in your diet The food pyramid given in the given in this page, if you can see, it will show you a rough amount of each type of food you should have every day. So, this is the rough estimate for vegetarians and for non-vegetarians in both sections it has been given. So students, assignment for the day is, you have to write two examples of each of the following. Carbohydrate rich food items, fat rich food items, protein rich food items, food items containing vitamin A, food items containing vitamin B. Food item containing vitamin C. Food items containing vitamin D. Calcium rich food, 
iron rich food and food item containing roughage so for these questions you have to write down two two items each and with this i hope you will be getting more knowledge through our videos and you are at the same time you are having fun so with that let's have improve your knowledge and we just be keep ourselves safe and healthy using balanced diet because these days you can see the atmosphere around us if you want to make our immunity strong we have to have a healthy diet with this i would say bye bye and have a nice